Hey guys, this is RC Enthusiast 101, and today I'm going to be painting my first body. So, first, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Parma's liquid mask. Now, I've heard that like Squirrel likes to use the Bob Develli stuff, but I couldn't find that anywhere, so I'm just going to try out the Parma stuff, see if what he says is true about not having this crisp of lines and that it sometimes leaks through but whatever I'm gonna give this a try I picked up a basic airbrush my hobby shop and I'll be trying that out see if I it out see if I painting it it out I black and blue yes that may sound really kind of weird but me doing like the grills and maybe around the window line, a little roof pickup, spoiler. Probably gonna do some like, I don't know, some eyes, the headlights on. Whatever, we'll get to doing all that and show you what it looks like once I'm done. So, so the first thing you're gonna want to do to prep your body for the masking process is to wipe and wash out the bot the inside of the body with dish soap and water to get all of the oils that got trapped or left on the body from the molding process. So I've already done that, but all you're gonna want to do is just wash it out and then put it on a paper towel and just let it dry out. If you're using a paper towel to dry out the inside, just make sure that none of the little fibers get on the body. And once it's dry you can start applying your mask. So what you're going to want to do is you shake up the liquid mask and then just apply it onto the RC body with a brush. And what you're wanting, going to want to do is just apply about three thin coats. Let each one dry before you put on the next. But you're going to want to the mask all throughout the body. And then I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so I've got my first coat on and I'm just waiting for it to dry. You're going to want to wait about, I'd say, an hour, two hours before you put e like each coat on. Might look a little bit messy and white, but it'll dry and it'll be clear to where you can actually do detailing and do whatever you want with it. But yeah, so I'll show you guys. The next clip will be when I have all three layers on and it's all dry, which will probably take about a day once you put the final coat on for it to completely dry and for you to start actually working on it with it. So next time you see this, it'll be about a day later. Okay guys, so now that you have your three layers of liquid mask dried, it'll kind of look like this. All it is is a very thin layer of, I guess like a rubbery or silicone substance, but it kind of has a blue tint to it. Again, I'm using Parma's Fast Mask, but what you're going to want to do is just take a Sharpie marker and then just, just outline the parts that you're going to be painting black or in my case just what you're going to be wanting to pack or you're going to want to just outline with your your hobby knife or exacto knife just going to want to just go around the outline and the inside and the outside of the line and then you can paint or you just pull back the thin layer of liquid mask and then you can paint and then just pull back all of the mask and paint your secondary color and you'll have whatever you want so Show you guys what it looks like when we're done. When I'm done, I'm going to be using black and blue, as I said before. It's kind of like a shiny, sparkle blue. But I've got something planned pretty cool. I think you guys will like it. So, so the before, I'll show you the after one. Now I just got done getting out all of the mask from for where I'm going to be painting my black. So. This may look like a two-year-old got a hold of it, but I just, you write with the Sharpie, 
on the outside of where you want to cut out where you want to like cut out your mask. And I think you can you might be able to see this, but this part might be a little bit darker and this is just clear. That's because this part I took all the mask out and this part is where the mask was. So I'll get to painting this and this the parts that I cut out, like the top part right here, compared yeah, you can kinda of see it right there, there's the clear and the Tran not translucent, but opaque. So, I'll get to paint in all those black parts, and then you guys will get to see what it looks like after that. Okay, so my first coat is dry, and all I have to do now is take off all the masking and start with my secondary color, the sparkle blue, the candy. So, we'll get to doing that, and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm done. Okay, so I took off all my mask for where my black, or where I'm going to be painting my blue. And I went ahead and painted it, and here's the finished product. So, I'm sorry I forgot to show you the process, like what it looked like with just the black, and I had taken all the mask out. I took out the window mask, and see through the windows. But, I don't know what, I just forgot to do that. I was having so much fun painting it that I forgot to document it. But, here's the finished product, and I'll show you a little more right now.